ACT for Autism is a team committed to bridging the gap in the understanding between autistic pupils and their teachers. This short film is devised and presented by 12 young autistic students who wanted to share their school experiences and tell you something about their own individual autism. This was facilitated using drama during our four-day Autism Voices film project. Hello, my name is Jo. Hello, my name is Barnaby Mumbridge. My name is Luca. And I'm Camilla. Hi, I'm Alice, the Flamingo Lady. Hey, off, I'm Alexandros. Hi, I'm Jordan. My name is Ellis. Hi, I'm Morgan. Hello there, I'm Jack Fletcher, the author of The Tales from Anger. Hello, my name's Teddy. My name is Jane. My name is Maisie. Because our sensory systems are wired differently, school can be overwhelming and it's hard to learn. In order to help teachers to understand that this is a real problem for us, we created this scene from one of our many improvisations. I wish there was someone who knew how this felt. Why is the teacher looking at me like that? He's looking at me funny. What will they think if I run out? My ears hurt. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, I've got a headache. My heart's beating so fast. I feel really hot. This is too much. It can feel like this every day, but it's difficult to explain. Often when we are most vulnerable, we are least able to communicate. We wanted to tell teachers what we thought might be useful to know and how they can help. Don't invade my personal space, especially when I'm stressed. Don't force eye contact. It makes you feel threatened and gives you anxiety. Allow me to use fidget toys like stress balls to help me calm down in lesson. Allow time out, especially when I'm having a bad day. Allow me to have time and space on my own. Don't show favoritism that makes people feel bad about themselves. Take the time to get to know me in the way I work. Don't assume, I, assume I'm okay having transitioned from one class to another. Don't be illogical. Start at question one. Don't be ambiguous with time and timings and tasks. Don't rearrange your classroom frequently. Give me some warning before you do so. Don't force me to socialise. It doesn't help. Please listen and please be kind and treat everyone equally. Please try to find discreet strategies to communicate with me when I'm stressed out so that you can give me time out. And please allow me to learn in my own way to be flexible. Thank you. Try to incorporate my special interest in your lessons. Forewarn us about change. Learn breathing exercises to help you calm down. Don't say calm down or similar phrases as it does not help. Check in and find out how I'm doing or feeling today. Don't compare students to how they were yesterday or in another lesson. Please don't judge me or di di discriminate me. Please accept who I am. All of the dialogue in our film was created out of drama exercises, which led to discussion and then our script. Through play and communication with each other, we found our voice. The next scene shows how isolating it can feel in school when people don't understand autism.
We discovered through being together on the project that we could talk about our autism with more confidence. It made us feel more connected, something we don't often feel. My favourite thing to do is ice skating and singing outside. Well, in my spare time, I love to draw and um, paint with my watercolour pencils. My favourite thing to do is write books, such as this book here, The Tales from Anger Book One, available on Amazon for $6.99 and $13.99. My favourite thing to do, I think, is to spend a lot of time online writing stories and poetry and blogging about various things with my friends. Um, doing sports outside. Like, you know, meeting my friends and, you know, just having a kick, nice kick about. My favourite thing to do is things related to computers, because it's my main area of expertise, really. I love travelling. Just going places and just having fun. People always say I want to go everywhere, but it's true. I mean, travelling a lot, I need to have a lot of things planned out, but still, it's going to be really good. Um, Acting is pretty good, you know, um, drawing, a lot of things are, you know, I've said this before in a, in a lot of things, uh, a lot of things um, interesting for me and good to do, so yeah, can't listen more. I really enjoy blogging about autism and Asperger's and conditions on the autism spectrum um, to enable people to have that understanding of the conditions really. It only really affects my stress and my fine motor skills. For example, I can't write, I have to use a computer, but I have been able to teach myself touch typing from that. In a way, I, uh, I cannot do simple tasks, so I can do more complicated tasks. I think probably the most important thing is that there isn't a textbook to autism. You can't just Google it or ask one person with autism what it's like because every single case is different. I want people to know that we find it difficult and um, autism can come very unclear to people. Some people just think they're being naughty or obnoxious. Not all autistic people are the same. We all have different experiences with it. People with autism may act differently and they may make some noises, you know, that people might find quite frightening. I think that people should treat autism as though it isn't a massive indifference and it isn't really a bad thing. I'd like people to know that it's not a disability, but it's an ability to work and think differently. It's far more unique and it does fall under such a rather vast spectrum, so even the most normal behaviour could possibly be linked to autism in some way, you never know. Well, I want people to know that my autism doesn't make me different to any neurotypical person. It means I might face some more challenges than they do, and I might have quite a unique personality, but they shouldn't treat me differently to anybody, any of their neurotypical friends. I want people to know that it's a challenge for people that have it, and that sometimes people are more disadvantaged than others, but that's because we're all different. My ability to understand things from a different perspective and to see things that other people don't, I think is probably the most valuable thing about my autism. I'm quiet, but I can remember most things from TV shows for some reason. That I can learn song lyrics very quickly. And I'm glad that I've got autism because it makes me feel special.